Now, a senior official at the European Medicines Agency has said there is a link between the AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine and blood clots. The safety of the AstraZeneca vaccine for young adults has been in the spotlight today. The news, initially from Europe, then the UK and Australia, of a rare and unusual clotting syndrome linked to the AstraZeneca vaccine scared many. Clinics around the country reported cancelled vaccine appointments and no shows. Our already wobbly rollout looked even more shaky. It's a classic problem in communicating risk, when our fears, or outrage about the vaccine, get out of whack with our fear of COVID-19. So the goal of risk communication is always to try to get the outrage about the same as the actual seriousness of the risk, what I call the hazard. That is the cardinal principle of risk communication. If you took a long... Peter Sandman has spent his career researching and advising on communicating risk. Some people are not upset enough about the virus, uh, especially young people. So that's a problem of too little outrage about the virus. And other people are too upset about the vaccine. They're much more worried about clots than the risk of clots justifies. And that's a problem of too much outrage. It presents four to 28 days after vaccination. So not in the first three days, but day four or after. It causes blood clots in unusual parts of the body such as in the brain or in the abdomen. And it also has low platelets. That is what is so unusual about this. Professor Marion Kaner is an infectious disease specialist who's been closely following this vaccine-associated thrombosis with thrombocytopenia syndrome, otherwise known as TTS. This is much more common among the young and much less common among older people. So when we're talking about this, we're talking about how common is this after the first dose of having received the vaccine. Estimates around this clotting risk vary. But if you take the UK, European and Australian data, it looks as though if you're aged under 50, there are between two to four episodes of TTS for every 100,000 doses. If you're over 50, the risk is lower, with up to one case among that same number of doses. So let's now pretend that those 100,000 doses, 100,000 people. So the Melbourne Cricket Ground has 100,000 people in that. So if you're under 50, it would be two to four people in the crowd of the MCG. If you were over the age of 50, it's one person in the MCG or one person in two lots of the MCG. The task of making sense of those risks is very different in Australia from, say, the United States, where there's still a lot of COVID virus circulating. For anyone in my country who's unvaccinated, I, you know, I want to shake them by the lapels and persuade them they're making a huge mistake. You know, you have the luxury of overreacting to clots if you want to. Even though community transmission is low in Australia, there are still reasons to put out your arm for the Astra vaccine and overcome your concerns about TTS. We're coming into winter. That means people spend a lot more time indoors. And I've always said the outdoors is our friend. Indoors, we can run into problems with ventilation and the risk increases significantly. So that's what gets me worried about entering winter without having people protected. In Australia, if you plan to travel, you damn well better get vaccinated. If you think there are going to be more outbreaks, get vaccinated. If you want to be part of opening up Australia, you don't want Australia to stay shut down for, uh, uh, for the foreseeable future, get vaccinated. On the other hand, if you're worried about the clots um, and you're not a traveler and you're not really expecting uh, things to go down downhill in Australia, you can afford to wait. But maybe we're just overthinking this issue. Me, I normally behave like most doctors, where it's do as I say, but not as I do. This morning, though, I put my arm where my mouth is. OK, you ready? Yep. One, two, three. Painless, thank you very much indeed. Thank you, cheers. Thanks a lot.
Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 730's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.